Hello, before we begin our cybersecurity demonstration, I'd like to share with all of you a little bit about the QuickSat Vehicle Management System or VMS uh, interface that is used both on our CubeSat and our ground station. It's part of the whole LinkStar architecture that uh, provides a window, a web-based window into the CubeSat and the ground station. So in this case, we're using our desktop, but you can also use your mobile device, your laptop, or even tablet to talk to both the satellite and to the ground station. So let me share with you about this interface and let me uh, share the screen with you. So now what you see here on the right is actually the uh, USB connection to the CubeSat. Now the CubeSat is not in orbit and normally you would not have this, this specific interface on the, uh, on the ground because in theory it's in orbit, you don't have a wire hooked up. But it does give you a, a back end, an easy back end into your CubeSat to be able to communicate with it and see how it's performing and how it's functioning. And that'll be what we're using for today's demonstration. On the left is the view of the ground station, which looks very similar, if you notice, to the CubeSat. This gives you the ability with the LinkStar system and QuickSat VMS to test like you fly. So let me go ahead and log in, and I'm gonna call this uh, EarthScan, which is the name of our uh, satellite, uh, EarthScan duplex, since we're using our duplex radio in this case. And here you see the view for the uh, LinkStar system. This is the actual view into the CubeSat. Now, let me go to the left here on the, uh, on the uh, ground station, and let's call this, uh, well, it's in ground, so now we saw the difference. And you'll notice the satellite, uh, the desktops look remarkably the same. So on the right is the view of the LinkStar system of the satellite through the LinkStar radio and the QuickSat vehicle management system. And you can see it's EarthScan space vehicle. And on the left, you can see we have the EarthScan space vehicle ground. And what you can see in this first entry window here is the list of applications that are on the satellite. And you can even uh, click on an item and show its parameters. And let's go ahead and look at them. So you can see, for example, this satellite temperature monitor, here's a list of parameters. And it does allow you in each of these tables to save it as a CSV, Excel, PDF, or even copy it to some other system. The same thing happens here on the CubeSat. So we can go here and here's the CubeSat view. So there, that's good, they're in sync here, <laughs> okay? Also, we can go look at the uh, system itself that manage the satellite and the applications running on it. So let's go to management and you'll see the same sort of scrolling window here of applications. And by the way, you should notice uh, we actually support a hyper, our space hypervisor, the QuickSat Zen space hypervisor. And we can see we have uh, up to nine virtual machines we can activate. We're not gonna do that today, but the main software is residing on the onboard computer or gateways we like to call it. You can also click on an item and see what the state of that software was. Where it was, you can see it's gone from ground to satellite, ground to satellite numerous times. This code of 80 tells me the software is installed on the satellite. And if you look here on the satellite view, there's a satellite. Another feature of the LinkStar system and the QuickSat VMS is you can see the not only the software states, but the list of commands that went from the ground to the satellite or even from the satellite to the ground how we while we're testing this. And then we do have a syslog that shows if a command's been successful or failed. So, and this will be all part of our demonstration today. And so let's say we click this button here, as an example, we're on the ground station and we can start the application, which we're not gonna do at this time, but I'm gonna delete it from the gateway or the satellite, the satellite's onboard computer. So I'm gonna click delete and you can see command request to send. And I've done this from the ground. And if you look very closely at the top here, you can see VMS application remove, and let's go to our CubeSat. Hasn't received the command yet, but it will here very shortly. And let's go ahead and let's actually, I'm gonna accelerate this. And there it is, it has the command. It's got the, the command here. And now what it's gonna do, it's gonna remove this application from the satellite. And of course we can upload it back. And if we look down here in the command status, uh, it looks like it happened fairly quickly. 
it was pending on the ground. The satellite read the command, it was pending on the satellite. It processed the command, and then the command was successful. And let's go ahead and check here. Yes, now it's no longer on the satellite. The VMS GPS manager application is on the ground. And we can see here, its software state is tracked on the satellite. We can see the same sort of thing here on the, uh, on the ground station side where yes, indeed, it is said it is in sync with the satellite and we can see it's on the ground and you can see the command was successful in processing. We can also look at the syslog and it says the command was successful. Another cool thing uh, with the uh, Linkstar system is I can look at some of the data from the satellite. And we'll see more about how this plays a role here. In this case, uh, we are taking temperature data from the satellite. And let's go ahead and change that to temperature one. And I'm just gonna get rid of, uh, well, we'll keep temperature two. Let's just flip it around here. I can click on an item and make that value disappear, or I can make it reappear. I can also zoom in on a temperature for a specific parameter and see what the values were that was measuring and reset it. And of course, we have a way to download as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF file if we want. We can plot up to four parameters uh, in our system, and the axes will adjust uh, based on what data we're doing here. So you can see we're doing altitude and temperature, and if we want, we can hide these items here. And there we go, we have altitude. And have a way to look at both the uh, BPS data and the actual sensor data on the satellite. Lastly, we have an ability to look at what our satellite is doing also uh, from the radio side. Now, right now, we are just beginning to get uh, dialed in. And let's go ahead and look at our satellite view. Right. There we go. And it looks like we're now connected with the Global Star satellite. So we have a map view, we have our GPS and our radio information, but we're not really synced in yet. And if we look here, you can see here's the signal strength over, oh, this current stretch. And actually, I can match this up. Again, this is the ground view that you see on the left. And on the right is the actual satellite. So you can see this is what the satellite is seeing when we're testing the CubeSat out. This is also important to note when we can send up commands to the satellite. One of the risks is during this time period, when it's not communicate, when the satellite's not communicating or syncing with the ground, it could be taking commands that were uploaded just before we lost a uh, signal. Let's say a nefarious attacker sent up a command, and then we may not know anything for a while uh, until we get signal again from the satellite. So it's just something to think about as a, as a possible risk area with any satellite when it's in the blind, so to speak. And on the with the Linkstar system, you can also adjust a variety of parameters, like how many, uh, the timing of the, the data rate and how many packets are sent and what servers we're talking to and everything. So this is the Linkstar interface for the duplex radio. And you can see we're right now com communicating with four bars, familiar like a phone, and it is hooked up to the network and to the ground. And you can see the last time I had a database capture here. Let me also show you really quick the interface for the simplex radio. And we have uh, the simplex radio, which is also on this uh, CubeSat that we're flying here. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's just call it, uh, uh, let's call it SmallSat. And we'll log in here. And you can see here is the view of this simplex radio. And we've got some satellites it's tracking for the GPS. Now simplex only sends data to the ground. It does not take commands from the ground. That will have to come from the, uh, the ground state or it's for, through the duplex radio. And so let's go ahead and zoom out. It looks like my platform doesn't have a GPS, but you can see here on the ground station view, you, we can see where our radio is located right here. And here's, it is matching. That's good, <laughs> we're matching there. And we can look at the data and the simplex data that came from the ground. Let's go back here. Tracking, tracking a few radios. You can track multiple radios uh, with your ground setup. So let's say you have a dozen of these radios on balloons or in cars or out in the field. You can track all of them in one screen and see all the data and then plot that data. 
So let's go here, as a matter of fact, let's look at the telemetry from the parameter data here. And let's look at uh, the temperature that's measuring. And that's the current temperature it's measuring. So you can also, with these STX3s, if they're not in space, you can use them in the ground or a balloon. And when you recover them, you can have it analyze the data that's on board the CubeSat. So again, this is the simplex interface on the right in space. And this is the simplex interface on the ground, uh, your ground station, which can be a laptop or what have you. Here we have the duplex interface on the right. And let's see our data here. I'll pull this up. We have our, uh, oh, I guess, oh, there we go. There's our data. We have our data on the right. And on the left is the ground station view. This is going to be the basis for our demonstration for the workshop today. And we want to give you a chance to get a little familiar with the Linkstar radio system and its software interface, the QuickSat Vehicle Management System.